Yeah, it bothers me a lot that you want to pr- broadcast that you're associating with black people. New problems tonight for L.A. Clippers owner Donald Sterling, accused of making racist remarks caught on tape by his girlfriend, V. Stiviano. Tom Lydon joins us now with more on the fallout today. So many people talking about this today. Tom. Oh, yeah. Just flip Incredible. through your radio dial, yeah. and it's almost like every single station is talking about it. And this is a big one. And in my mind, there are three main groups who could affect change immediately and make a statement by doing so. First is the NBA. And Commissioner Adam Silver has called a news conference for 2 p.m. tomorrow to address the issue. Second, the fans. Don't go to the game, you might say. Well, the problem there is that the tickets for the playoffs have already been paid for. And if you don't go, Donald Sterling wins anyway. He still gets your money. Third, sponsors and those companies that have supported the Clippers are pulling their support of the team faster than we can keep up. The players, of course, made their statement yesterday by warming up without the Clippers logo visible across their chest. Now, today's been a tidal wave of announcements from sponsors and partners of the Clippers, all of them stating that they are suspending their relationship with the Clippers company like CarMax, Virgin Atlantic, State Farm, Kia Motor, Red Bull, Sprint, and the presenting sponsor of the team, Chumash Casino, all out, each of them unwilling to associate themselves with Sterling's team. Now, the players did play in yesterday's game. There had been talk about them possibly boycotting the game, which apparently Chauncey Billups might have done if facing the same situation. Here's Chauncey. There's no way I would have played that game, man. No. No, I couldn't play in that game. It's more than basketball. If it wasn't for what my grandparents and their parents and, and, and their parents went through to make it easy for us to be able to attain these kind of jobs and be successful in life, then I'm probably not here having this kind of success and doing what I'm doing. Now, Chauncey has played on many teams, including the L.A. Clippers, and here's what Pistons owner Tom Gores had to say. We trust Commissioner Adam Silver to handle this matter swiftly and properly, but let me state without reservation there is no place for prejudice or intolerance in our league or anywhere else. That is not a debatable point. It is a first principle. So I think that the punishment that's going to come down from Adam Silver is going to be swift and it's going to be severe. I think that we're going to see something along the lines of what we saw with Marge Schott and the Cincinnati Reds yeah. back in the 80s yeah, where she was, in essence, forced to sell the team. Well, that's what I wonder because you hear people say that he should be forced to sell. Could he be forced well, to sell Well, he's a the franchise team? owner, is, so NBA. He is. And the catch-22 about him being forced to sell, yeah. he's going to make millions upon of millions of dollars on the sale because he's been an owner of this team for nearly three decades, right. yeah. over three decades. So he's going to make money in the end either way, but the public perception of him forever is, is this? Yeah. yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Thank you, Tom. Great insight, Tom. Thank you. Yeah, stay with 7 Action News. Our crews have been all across Detroit getting local reaction to this, including from former mayor and Pistons standout Dave Bing. 